Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Corn Red. So, out here doing evening chores. Um, so it has been Thanksgiving weekend. We had a house full of company. We've got one person, one visitor left, my daughter from North Carolina. Watch out chickens, y'all are in the way. And it's evening chore time. So I thought I'd bring you out here with me because I took a little bit of a break from filming and doing videos and all of that for Thanksgiving. And here it is, Sunday, and I have not filmed a thing. <laughs> so I thought I would bring you out here with me to do chores. So we had a great Thanksgiving, of course. Ate tons of food. Had lots of casseroles, lots of dessert. Lots of carbs that I will be paying for for a few days. And so because of that, I'm, <laughs> I told my daughter I'm going to be going carnivore for at least a few weeks. Strict carnivore to kind of recover from that. But, uh, I mean, it was Thanksgiving, so it was worth it. My son, daughter-in-law and new grandbaby were here visiting and we got wonderful news the other day her green card finally came through only took two and a half years for her to be legal here in the country so now she can get a job and a driver's license and all of that i will make no further comment <laughs> so yesterday I took my daughter, son, and daughter-in-law, and the grandbaby up on the mountain. We went all the way up to the top up there so that they could see the view, showed them a few things of interest along the way, and uh, just had a, had a nice hike, fresh air, and all of that. This morning my daughter and I went and um, actually checked her out of the Airbnb a little bit early. She decided she's going to stay with us the last night here. And we went into Fort Smith, had some lunch. I remembered at the very last moment that my Asia Standard order was here. And I had 30 minutes to spare <laughs> to go pick that up. I'm just really glad that I remembered it before I was all the way back home because that would not have been a good scenario. You know, it's, it's a busy weekend and when you've got company and all of these things going on, something like having to go meet the Asia Standard truck just kind of completely slips the mind. Um, but yeah, so that all worked out well. I actually ordered several frozen things with the intention to freeze dry them. I ordered a case of strawberries, a case of marion berries, some broccoli, things like that. And we have a little situation. So the night before Thanksgiving, uh, well, technically it was Thanksgiving because we did our Thanksgiving dinner on Friday. I made a gigantic batch of chili. I mean, a quadruple batch of chili. And my thought was, if there's any leftover, we'll just go ahead and freeze dry it. And so we did. We started it yesterday morning. It was freeze drying. Went to pull it out uh, this afternoon and it wasn't quite done. And so we put it back in. We clicked the more dry time button and it, you know, started cycling on again. But now the controls are frozen. It won't cancel. We can't adjust the time. We can't get anything to happen. So I'm a wee tad frustrated. This is only the third time we have ever freeze dried with our freeze dryer and it's malfunctioning. So needless to say, when I get back in the house, I've got to go through the manual and figure out what the heck we're supposed to do about this. Um, these things cost too much money to be malfunctioning so quickly. Just gonna say that. Um, so here's my daughter, you wanna say hello? Hi y'all. Hi y'all. 
Um, she decided to join us out here for chores this evening. But, I mean, we had a great Thanksgiving overall. We had the roast turkey, as we always do. But we also, Mr. Smith and the boys, smoked a turkey as well. So we had the roast turkey and a smoked turkey. The smoked turkey went over so well that they have already decided that that is going to be an annual tradition now. Um, so that turned out really, really well. <laughs> it got eaten up very quickly. Yeah, so we, we headed up the mountain yesterday, so they got to see the amazing view. Mm -hmm. Yep, and um, I also wanted to mention, this is the daughter who was in the really bad car accident last year. Some of you may remember that. Um, as you can see, she is generally recovered. A little bit. A little bit. She's, she is a bionic woman now, though. That, you know. that hike took a lot out of me, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a lot, but we took our time, you know, between her titanium and Anna carrying the baby. <laughs> we, we did it. We did it, though, yeah. But, uh... That's what happens when you have a house full of determined women. Oh, yeah. <laughs> determined to get up there. But, um... Oh, something else that I need to do a little bit of researching on is wood-burning stoves. So our cabin here in Arkansas has a gas stove that looks like a wood-burning stove, but you know, it's a fake one. And that's just not our cup of tea. And so we were discussing um, putting in a wood-burning stove. And so right now we're doing a little bit of homework on those. I think we found a place in Fort Smith that maybe carries them and installs them because Ideally, if we're going to spend the money on this, we'd like to have it put in professionally, I think. I don't know that that's something that we want to try and do ourselves. Just to be on the safe side, because, you know, fire and all. So, I think Mr. Smith and I are going to look into that uh, this week. But right now, I'm going to head up in here and try to figure out how to unfreeze the freeze dryer. Because I've got all of these other things I was going to freeze dry. Um, I was actually gonna do another batch like right now, you know, not have the freeze, fr freeze dryer defrost and go ahead and run the next thing. But now, I don't know if that's gonna happen tonight. And I really need to get <laughs> all of these things that I just bought freeze dried because we got a cow coming. You know, I've mentioned this and I'm expecting that phone call any day <laughs> for this half cow of beef that's coming, so we're not gonna have the room for, in the freezer for it. But, oh, I know, first world problems, I suppose. <laughs> so sweet. You're just so sweet. There's Milk Dead. You guys ask about him from time to time. He is the gimpiest, most pathetic cat you've you've about ever seen. I mean, if you did not know he was a young cat, like if we had not taken him to the vet and have him aged and all that, you would think he was ancient. He walks with a gimp. He does nothing but lay around and sleep all day under the heat lamp now. He has a heat lamp. And, uh, I mean, that's all he does. He gets up, he gets treats, he goes back to sleep. And he's still sneezy. There his, he goes. Back to his heat lamp.
Alright, so I just got done doing some troubleshooting and we ended up just powering down the freeze dryer, powering it back on, and then restart. And when it did, it gave me the options that it was supposed to. So it's a little frustrating that this is only the third time we've used the freeze dryer and we had an error like that. I really hope that this is not going to be <laughs> a problem because, I mean, quite frankly, freeze dryers are a lot of money and you don't want to spend money on something like this and then have, have issues with it, especially right away. So, I don't know. A little frustrating. But, anyways, it, it's working now and hopefully that is... <laughs> That is the case, and hopefully we don't have any other issues with it. So, But with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I know this is a little bit of a, a random vlog today. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been busy around here, just like I, I'm sure it has been for most of all of you. So I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you had a great time with family and friends and wonderful food. And I will talk to y'all next time, friends. Mm -hmm.